Kickmax did a really good job, so a huge shout out to them. This is a beautiful shoe, guys. Yo, yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy, Walk Sauce, and I'm back with another review. Today, we're going to be going over Kickmax's Air Jordan 4 Retro Fear. So this is a really wearable Jordan 4. It is a little bit different than a lot of the Jordan 4s you see nowadays, that being because it came out in 2013. So we're going to be looking for side cages being a little bit more straight. Let's go ahead and see how Kickmax did. All right, so there we have it fresh out of the packaging. So again, we have a very standard Jordan 4 box. Again, with the Jordan flights on the top and the bottom. Let's go ahead and look at the label. So we're missing the flappy USD tag. That's no worries. Other than that, we're looking good on the label. Let's go ahead and open the box, guys. All right, so just like last time, we got some seller information. You can go ahead and check out their website where you can make orders, text them on WhatsApp to have really good communication. You can go see their product on Instagram and TikTok. So yeah, don't hesitate to use my discount code either, which is WAS. Basically just sauce with a W at the start. Oh wow. So remember what I said just a couple minutes ago about the side cage? It is looking straighter than the, uh, it isn't looking parallel with the lace wing, which is good on this pair, that being because it's so old. Um, so a quick spin around of this side, and then we'll just go over the other one. This is looking really amazing though. So really quickly before I set the box and everything aside, we do have that clear Jordan Air tag, which is awesome. And then on the inside of the box, we also have that Nike quality control sticker. So that's also awesome. All right, so here is Cape Max's product fresh out of the box. As you can see, the side cages is a little bit more straight. Like I said, that being because it's an older release back in 2013, so that is perfect. Moving on to these little speckles on the bottom there, that's the right correct sizing. So a huge shout out to Cape Max for getting a lot of the things right, right off the bat. These medial strips are also the right sizing, so a good job Cape Max. Moving on to the air bubble, we do have the right form with the square being on the back and the circle being on the front. As you can see, there is five to five and a half cage holes. So on this pair in particular, that is good. This is a really old pair. So on some pairs, I've even seen six cage holes. And uh, I've even said in my Discord a couple times, this is the only pair where I've ever seen that. Moving on to the tongue. I am noticing that the Jumpman logo is a little close to the stitching. So you wanna see it a couple millimeters down. I'm not sure how many people are gonna notice that, so if that bugs you, um, yeah, sorry. Moving on to the inside, everything is the same as the outside, so not really much to go over there. The bottom is just a standard Jordan 4 bottom with a black and white sort of color pattern. And then moving on to the inside of the tongue, we have the upside down Air Jordan, so that is looking good. Also with the stitching, looking very precise. And then the back of the Jordan for Fear looks good as well, with the Jumpman being the correct sizing and the correct spacing from the side of the panel here. Honestly, this is a pretty good Jordan 4 Fear. Um, this is a really hard shoe to replicate the model itself, and then the colorway is also hard. I honestly have to give this a 9 out of 10. Kickmax did a really good job, so a huge shout out to them. This is a beautiful shoe, guys. I really love the different materials on it. What do you guys think about this shoe? Drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you're new, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. And of course, leave a like so then that more people can find this video. Anyways guys, I won't hold you for much longer. It's Walk Sauce. Peace.